That's a vibe. She wanna vibe. That's a vibe. It's a vibe, yeah, yeah, late night. Oh, it's a vibe. Let me slide. Oh, it's a vibe, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm gonna start off with blow dried hair because I really want that fluffy look and I prefer side parts so that's what I'm gonna work with. And I'm gonna use my comb to part my hair into medium sized sections. As my moisturizer, I'm using the OGX Coconut Curls Hair Butter and I'm just using a very little bit of that because I don't want my hair to revert. And then on top of that, I'm gonna apply the as I am smoothing gel just to hold everything in place and again I'm just using a very little bit of that and layering it on my hair so now I'm going to begin the braiding process and this is very hard to explain but pretty much I section off this section into three smaller sections and then I grab hair every time I braid it's kind of hard to explain <laughs> But wherever my middle finger is going, that's where I pick up hair. And I do that all the way down until there's no more hair to gather. And then I just single braid the rest of the way. I also add product along the way if my hair seems to get dry. And I'm so sorry guys if I sound spitty. I sound like a spitty mouth. It's because I have my expander in. And the struggle is real to talk. But anyways, I'm going to braid all the way down and finger coil at the very ends of my hair. So it's going to be a nice spiral curl. And it's also going to seal everything in so it doesn't like unravel at night time so now I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing to the next section I'm gonna make sure that my hair is detangled I'm gonna apply my butter and then layer it on with the gel and braid my hair all the way down and then spiral curl at the very ends of my hair I'm also gonna make sure to apply product as I'm braiding because I don't want my hair to be dry I need to make sure that my hair is very moisturized in order to get a defined curl So once that's all said and done, I did three braids or three cornrow braids and in the back section I did single braids which I had a total of four. So this part is pretty straightforward but you just want to make sure that you have a moisturizer and then you have something that's going to actually hold your curl because when you have blow dried hair it's actually a lot harder to hold a curl because your hair is more dry and it doesn't really have that water to really set things in place. So now onto the next side, because this side has less hair, I decided to do two cornrow braids in the front and three single braids in the back, and yeah, I pretty much followed the same steps. Alright, so because my scalp is dry, I decided to put some oil, you know, on my scalp to soothe it and to get those flakes away. I don't know if you guys seen the flakes, but I've seen the flakes, so yeah, I'm just applying some oil and massaging that into my scalp. And I'm also going to take a little bit more and put it throughout the length of my hair. It's going to give me some bomb ass shine. Alright, so now it's the next day and I did sleep with my satin scarf and as you can see my hair is glistening and I'm just going to take down my braids very gently and, and if you did all the right things the day before, this part should be no problem. You just want to be nice and gentle. You can even add some oil to your hands to make it a lot easier and it will also help with the furs as well. Yes, honey, look at that shine. That's what I wanted. <laughs> so 
so yeah once all the birds are taken out this is pretty much what it looks like so i'm just using my hands to like fluff it out and get rid of the harsh parts and then i'm gonna of course lay my edges down that's a must in all hairstyles you know you gotta slay them baby hairs and then i'm good to go i love the results my hair is super soft shiny and fluffy and it's everything i wanted <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys all in my next one i love you guys so much Mwah.